Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for the month of February. So please be sure to take what resonates only and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe for future readings. So lovely Capricorns, thank you so much for being here and for being my favorites as always. Thank you to my subscribers and members for your love and support. I love you guys so much. And of course, if you're wanting to dive into your own personal love story, you can always book a private reading with me down in the description box below. That is where you can find all of my details. And I am still running my Valentine's Day special. So all of your general love, soul connection, and intimate extended readings are still 50% off until February 16th. So be sure to get booked up if you need one. And uh, of course, Capricorn, this is a general love reading for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the sexy crotch watcher of a Capricorn is always welcome. So please be sure to reverse roles if necessary and only take what fits for you. So I am also doing things a little bit differently in this reading. I'm not going to pull any tarot cards, just Oracle messages. So hopefully it still will resonate with you. Um, so what do we have? for Capricorn and their person? What is the energy of their person right now? So the first two cards out are, oh my goodness, Cappy Caps. So we've got lightning and twin flames. Okay. So whether or not you resonate with the label of twin flames, we've got this energy of yin yang, zen balance union. Okay. So this like equally balanced energy complementing one another and the concept of duality is coming up here with the lightning card which is sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation so the twin flame card with basically like the energy of the tower comes crashing in. So this could be the realization in itself. The shocking information is recognizing your soul in this other person's meat suit. Okay. Um, this could be just a separation as well. Okay. Cause the tower does often bring separation and breakups and things like that. So if you are someone who resonates with the twin flame journey, or just again, like soul counterparts, soul mates, soul connection, whatever the, the label you want to put on this bad boy. Okay. That's the vibe I'm seeing. It's like you and this person connected. And then there's like stuff to deal with. Okay. Chaos changes. Um, just things that are out of your control, divine intervention. So I will say this Capricorn, if you have made this connection with somebody, okay. And then this happened, it's for a reason. And I know that it's like, man, it's so easy to say that, right? Uh, it's kind of like getting the temperance card when you're really being patient about something. <laughs> It's just a reminder that even these painful periods of time of separation, of confusion, of chaos, all of this is being divinely guided and orchestrated. So if you met this person and then went into separation, it's because there needed to be separate journeys traveled, okay? Yes, you and this person may resonate on that same soul frequency, but at the end of the day, spirit is sort of putting you in these separate boxes right now so that the two of you can can ascend on your own personal spiritual path there are lessons there are things there are tests and all these kind of oh man don't even get me started just in general if you resonate with the twin flame journey you already know what i'm talking about okay it is it is tough it is some tough stuff so what else do we need to see it's some of the toughest stuff, man. And, but, you know, regardless of that, look at that. We've got the Phoenix, okay? So regardless of all the toughness, regardless of all the crazy chaos and, and the transformation of these journeys that they will bring, it says here that we are now entering a new phase, okay? There's a transformation that has occurred. I feel like this person is going to be rising up like the phoenix after going through massive changes and a lot of growth. It also says rekindle and renew here and changed mind. So, and I just saw 444 on the clock. So when I'm talking about these connections are divinely guided, I am not playing around y'all. I'm really not. So I do feel that this person is going through some massive changes 
changes and growth, transformation via meeting you, via connecting with you, Capricorn. So, you know, maybe this even is something as far as like where it says changed mind. Maybe this person never believed in soulmates or anything like that. And now meeting you, they're like, well, wait a second. Now it's totally believable. Okay. Totally makes sense. Um, Maybe this person was one of those people who like thought things were coincidence. You know what I mean? Where really it's like saying that things are a coincidence is like a slap in the universe's face, right? The universe is too intricate. The details are too minute to even imagine things just happening randomly, okay? So this person believes because of you. We also have the runner in the reverse and then paradise. So I feel like this person has reached this point, this like pinnacle of a moment where they've said, hey, you know what? I can't run from this. This is not the type of thing that you can even run from. Maybe this person did try to run, but it's like the harder they ran, the faster they ran, the more this connection was in their face. Okay. So I do feel that this person is sort of healing from their fear of intimacy and not letting their ego yap at them any longer. I think this person is sort of trusting the direction in which they're being guided instead of running away from it. With the paradise card paired with it, this person is running towards happiness with you, okay? They want to expand on this connection. They love the playfulness and enjoying each other's company. This person might even be, you know, <laughs> dreaming of going on vacation with you, right? So instead of running away from this Capricorn, this person is running towards planning a bright, sunny future with you, a paradise, okay? This could be para, para, paradise. I love Coldplay. Definitely look up that song. Um, let's get a few more for Capricorn. What do we need to see about Capricorn's person? Not the card explosion. All right, so We've got the sword and the rose, so you could be connecting with an air sign, okay? Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So I feel like this person is definitely gaining clarity um, in the situation, okay? They're starting to recognize, you know, what all of this was for. I think this person is becoming stronger as an individual. And, you know, also this sword and the rose, it makes me think of like the king and the queen of swords. So not just getting clarity, but also operating from a place of authenticity, living in their truth, cutting away anything that is not resonating with them. Okay, using their intellect to plow the way forward, cutting through the bushes and the thorns, um, so to speak. Okay, so, you know, there could be something that this person is sort of fighting for, right? If they're fighting to protect this connection um, or to get their power back in a certain situation. Now my nose is starting to itch, so I think that that's definitely the case for someone out there. Um, yeah, okay, so interesting. So as I'm talking about, like, fighting through a situation or like defending themselves, taking back their power. We have not today and kisses in the reverse. So I kind of feel like there's a third energy popping up here, Capricorn. I think that this person is um, on their way out of another situation where there is no like true love there. This person doesn't really want to be intimate with this other individual. It's literally saying not today, like no kisses today. This person is not in love with this other individual that's popping up here. They're not dealing with this. They don't, they're avoiding talking to this person, communicating with this person. They're putting up their boundaries because I think that this individual has really hurt them. Okay has really made them see like, okay, there's really no use in trying to communicate with this individual. I think they're sort of getting to that point, right? So um, now for some of you, okay, this not today, this could be your person technically also avoiding you if there's a situation on the back end that they need to deal with. So that could definitely be a variation of that. But my first instinct was that third party that was popping up in my mind. It's like this person is swatting this other individual away. They're not interested in engaging with this person or being intimate with this person. Literally the card says not today. I should write Cletus under there. <laughs> <laughs> not today, Cletus, because you already know I say that all the time. So this person is not interested in anybody else, okay? 
All right, now the other two cards here we have are not enough and ascending. So it says frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So again, this, this other situation is popping up for me. I feel like in that other situation, they felt like this. They felt like they weren't enough or nothing that they did was gonna ever be good enough and it ruined their confidence okay this could be one of the reasons that this person may have run from you in the past or again that there was a separation between the two of you because this person was self-sabotaging based on their experiences they've had with this other individual now with the ascending card though this person now is recognizing the pattern okay they're transcending these obstacles they're learning from it they're expanding in their life. They're entering a new phase and preparing for true sacred union, okay? So Capricorn, that's all good energy. And yeah, look at that. Confirming what I said at the bottom of the deck, we had the karmic relationship card. So fleeting triggers turmoil, resentment lessons, letting go and loving you. So, you know, I think this person has seen all they need to see in this other situation, okay? They recognize the nature of that connection. It's not a true soul connection. This is like a karmic part partnership. This is a soul contract that they had to experience so that they can learn certain lessons. But during that karmic relationship, this person began falling in love with you, Capricorn. Okay. So I do feel that they are, um, they're definitely removing themselves and ascending up and above this situation because their desire is to run towards this paradise of a life with you. So let's get some lovers oracles. Let's find out what spirit wants to share not the twin flames card again so y'all got double twin flame energy in here your passion ignites so you and this person you have that instant spark that soul recognition okay and you know that's impossible to deny those sort of things you can try to run you can try to hide capricorn but you ain't gonna get very far okay <laughs> It's like running around in one of those like um, house of mirrors at a carnival, <laughs> like everywhere you turn, there's a mirror <laughs> everywhere you look, there's a mirror. Um, so that's kind of what these journeys are like. If you haven't already experienced it, if you're not on the twin flame journey, then <sighs> boy, you're so lucky. <laughs> So we also have forgiveness. Okay, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So I do feel that this person also needed to work on forgiving themselves, right? They may have had some sort of stigma in their mind about letting go of this other connection. We did see, you know, moving on and closure issues, right? Didn't we see that somewhere? Or did I just make that up? Did I bring that from another reading? Obviously, I said that for a reason. So I do feel that this person needed to work on forgiving themselves and healing from that karmic relationship. Um, they needed to recognize that the time they were wasting in that connection, it was taking away from the time that they could have with you, okay? Building that paradise. So let's get a few more from this deck. Actually, one actually is poking out, so I'm gonna take this one first. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So yeah, you know, this person may have needed to accept defeat in this karmic situation as well. Okay. Um, maybe they tried to work on things or tried to put effort in, but I think this person needed to recognize that the way things are is the way that they're going to be. There's no point in trying to change or mold this karmic relationship into something bigger, better, and greater because what you see is what you get in that sort of a connection, okay? So this person is recognizing they can't change that other individual, okay? They certainly can't change them into you, Capricorn. <laughs> they cannot replicate or duplicate that ass. So I think that they're starting to recognize, okay, like this situation's out of my control. I need to be focusing on what I want my life to be like, okay? Not 
changing this person to fit inside of the life that I want. No, it don't work that way. Okay. People only change when they want to change. There's nothing you could do to force someone to change who they are. So we also have close your eyes and this is a card that's popped up in almost every single reading, by the way, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So going back to this card here about not being enough, I think that this person that they were with sort of had them convinced that they didn't deserve that happiness, okay? That they weren't allowed to experience joy. And I think this person's like, you know what? That ain't it. That ain't right, okay? This person's recognizing that regardless of their circumstances, they are deserving of happiness. They are deserving of that life of being in paradise with the person that they're in love with, that they're falling for. Let's get one more, one more shuffle. And there you have it, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So talking about sexual union, you guys, you know, maybe some of you Capricorns out there will be lucky enough to be in sexual union with this person um, very soon. But even if it's not in the physical, I do feel that 5D connection coming in very strong. So definitely tap into that energy with your person, even if you can't physically be together right now. Okay. And then finally, we have passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So yeah, your, your energy is literally calling this person in. Okay. You are magnetic. You are seductive. So enjoy that. Okay. Enjoy yourself, Capricorn. What does this person want to say to you? What are their messages for you? We come from different worlds. So, you know, you and this person might be very different, okay? Very, very different. I may put on a show for others, but I'm insecure about this. And the reason they're insecure, I think, is because of everything that they had beaten into their brains from this karmic partner, okay? That really, like, knocked them down a few pegs. So even though this person's probably got nothing wrong with them, a lot of times karmic individuals, they will sort of try to beat you down and make you feel badly about yourself, try to make you feel small and so that they can use you, so they can manipulate you, okay, and control you. I feel like I blew it and now it's too late to apologize. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's too late, Capricorn, do you? I mean, I don't think so. So look at that. I don't feel like I can measure up more insecure speak, okay? More insecurities coming out and your words still affect me. So things that you have said to this person, they've taken them to heart, okay? They've taken them very seriously um, and they are being affected by things that you have said still, okay? What else do we need to see from this person? What do they want to say to Capricorn, please? I still fantasize about you. Yes. How could they not? How could they not? We also have, I pretend to be more confident than I am. And it is easier to be fake with someone else than be authentic with you and face rejection. So this karmic partner really did a number on them, okay? I feel like they really just ruined their confidence. And maybe they try to act, you know, like they are. But deep down, they are so insecure. And, you know, Capricorn, it probably doesn't help that you're out there shining, okay? <laughs> probably doesn't help that you're out there being sexy and stuff okay and you know this person's just kind of gotta <laughs> they gotta hope that they measure up right let's get one more shuffle for my lovely capricorns please before we end this reading yep i was so afraid so i ran from you okay I ran from you. We did get that runner card and I see the truth now and I have regret. Yeah. So they're probably seeing the truth of all the time that they've wasted in that karmic connection, all the time that they could have been building on this paradise that they want to create with you, Capricorn. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully that's enough. 
uh, of that. Hopefully this karmic connection is truly coming to an end. And instead of running from you, they can be running into your arms. Okay. So Capricorn, hopefully this resonated with you guys. If it did, do not forget to like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn up the notifications and book a personal reading if you feel so inclined. Um, but other than that, you guys, I love you so freaking much. I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.